Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 5. So, let's continue where we left off. And I think we should go after Gandhi and just conquer his capital. We just need to bring a few more units because this is probably not quite enough. Let's grab a few that are actually close. We'll need at least one more cannon. We do have one near Costco. That should be enough. We'll get a few lancers. We'll just grab everything that's in the area. You know, just in case. Do we have enough ranged damage? It will have to be enough, I suppose. We do have the masked men with logistics. So that alone is pretty good. Don't need an explorer. We'll grab the other masked men. And the lancer, because why not? And the great general. We could definitely use the bonus from him. And this should be more than enough to conquer Delhi. Especially since Gandhi is still at war with Rome. And I think Rome is attacking him. He's taking damage from something. So it has to be from Rome. I don't see what else it could possibly be. Anyway, any more units? Let's have a look. Maybe some of the mobile units, like this guy. It will only take him like two turns to get there. Yep. And I think that's going to be enough. Yep, looks good to me. We'll wait one or two turns to get all these units into position. And then declare war. Unless he asks us to declare war, then I'll just do it. Let's find out. We still need one more diplomatic unit, but it's on the way. That should give us control of Bratislava. Gandhi is actually under attack in several different places. Yeah, his city in the east is taking damage, his units in the west are taking damage. Holy crap, yeah, Theodora is still willing to give us a lot. But she's losing 186 gold per turn. Okay. <laughs> Will she give us anything else? Probably not, no. Alright. Good enough. It's a good deal. Even though she values it much higher. Why is she losing so much gold? She has quite a lot of cities. That's just really bad. I guess that's her problem, not mine. So, Herbalist is done in Bangalore. What else can we get in here? Maybe a temple. We won't really get any benefit from it other than faith. But it does generate a little bit of religious pressure. So that's mostly the point. We'll get the temple. Do we have one in here already? Yes, we do. Okay then. What should we grab? Let's have a look. Amphitheater, bank. We don't really need an amphitheater all that much. How about we get agri business? Because that's just so good. It uses horses, but we have a lot of horses. I'm not really worried about that part. Alright, sounds good. So the railroad is almost done. Now we'll need railroad stations. Where are they exactly? We already unlocked them, right? Yep, train station, that's what we need. But we need coal in order to build those. Hopefully we'll have some. I guess we'll find out soon enough. In just a few turns. So, let's go. Grab all of these guys. And archaeologist. Oh yeah, we can actually get one more landmark right here. Everything else is out of range, sadly. Amphitheater. How about Opera House? What do we have in this city? Not a whole lot, apparently. Do we have any wonders? Yes, we do. Let's grab a hotel in that case. And we'll need a hotel in our capital. Let's just queue it up right away. That's a no-brainer. We have quite a few wonders in there. Most of our wonders are in our capital. Right, let's move into position. This is probably already close enough. But we can declare war on the next turn. As for you... One more farm. He should be safe. 
Ish. Well, he should be relatively safe. At least. Lancer to the front. Musket man back one tile. Alright, looks good. Next. Oh yeah, that will be an artifact. It's out of range of the city, sadly. Our cities are still growing quite nicely. And it looks like we will get the Summer Palace. Unless someone suddenly beats us to it. We don't really need that wonder, but it might come in handy to recruit some diplomatic units. Okay. World Congress is upcoming. Grocer, that's in Istanbul. Do we have wonders in here? We do, right? Only two wonders. Probably no point rushing the hotel all that much. We'll just get some basics. How many tiles will benefit from a stable? Only like one? Yeah, literally one. Let's grab barracks then. That's still plus two production and plus two science. Works for me. Alright people, let's move. The war is waiting. You will grab the landmark. Oh, barbarians, really? Okay then, if you say so. Is Gandhi's happiness in the negatives? We can't actually see right now. That's curious. Looks like it is in the negatives. Well, alright. He's actually in the negatives in his capital. Let's declare war? Not much point waiting any longer, let's just do it. I don't need anyone's help. Oh, he has a defensive pact with Sweden. Okay, now that's a little bit annoying. Because I have a declaration of friendship with Sweden. Yeah, okay. That's annoying. We can demand something, but it's not really going to help much. We can demand him to be a vassal state. Yeah, like that's going to happen. He's losing gold constantly. Huh? Yeah, this is going to be a little bit annoying. If we declare war on him, we'll end up at war with Sweden. Which I don't care about that much. However, I don't want to do it while we have declaration of friendship. And it's a pretty recent declaration of friendship though. I don't want everyone to hate us. We could wait and see if they are going to break it. Probably not going to happen. But I'm definitely having some second thoughts right now. It's highly unlikely Gandhi will declare war on us. We could always go after Portugal while we wait for Gandhi. Does Portugal have any defensive pacts? We'll check on our turn. Great artist, nice. Let's check Portugal. They do not have any defensive pacts, but they are allied with a lot of city-states. Maybe too many. We need to do something about that. I don't want them to be allied with everything. We still need one more. Yep. Okay, no problem. One more. Where is he? Right here. Before constabulary. How's our golden age? Six more turns. Maybe we should use the great artist to extend the golden age. Possibly. We won't get any new theming bonuses. What about this one? Hold on. Art from the same era and civilization. Can we get this one right now? We can get it from artifacts. And we don't actually have that many slots left. Might be better to keep them for artifacts. 
All right, let's extend our golden age. 19 turns. Sounds good. Armory is next. And go help with the railroads. Two more turns and we'll find out whether we have coal or not. I hope we have some. Because we need it. We are about to find out. We have quite a lot of territory, so surely we'll have at least some sources. Hold on, I sent two archaeologists to the same exact site. Not exactly needed. Sweden entered modern era, alright. He has 50 techs. Yeah, I don't really want to go to war with Sweden all that much. I think we'll have to pass on declaring war on Gandhi. Unless he gives up the defensive pact. But right now it's not really worth it. Workshop. We still need some musicians guilds. Might be worth building those. Well, let's grab the stable first. That's only two turns. Istanbul. Doesn't even have a shrine. Alright. One more road section. 20 population, good. How are specialists in here? We aren't working any at the moment. What do we want to work? I'm thinking production. Like so. Maybe keep it on default focus. It will grow in 8 turns. And we got 163 hammers. Seems reasonable. Stable. I don't feel like it's entirely worth it, but we will get plus 5 hammers from it. So, sure. I think we got all the antiquity sites at this point. At least all the ones inside our territory. Looks like the Ottomans are going to conquer the city-state. Okay, whatever flows their boat. Do we have coal? Please tell me we have coal. Yes, we got at least some. Seven coal. We have a few sources. Seven coal again. Seven coal. So we took 14 coal from Gandhi. Nice. And seven again. Very nice. That's going to be more than enough. Yep, we have tons of coal. That's quite unusual. <laughs> but I'm glad we got it. So what about production? Let's have a look. Agribusiness. Do we have wonders in here? Yes, we do. Well, kind of. 11 turns to build the hotel. I think I'll pass. How about we get the Musicians Guild? Yep, let's get the Musicians Guild. That's 8 turns. And to get started on the railroad. Towards Tiwanaku. The other guy can help. And we'll convert Bratislava. So, you guys. We'll extend the railroad to Machu. But we only need one. As in, from Cusco to Machu or from Oliantambo to Machu. We don't need both. There's the temple. Market will only take one turn. Might as well grab that. Has population in here? 15. Yeah, let's maybe switch focus a little bit. That's better. Yep, just make sure we are working the holy side. And all these good tiles. The rest doesn't matter as much. And we'll use manual specialist control. Alright, looks good. One turn to finish the market. Let's queue up something else then. Maybe a circus. 
another artifact. This is out of range of the city, unfortunately. So that will have to be an artifact. I think we can get a theming bonus now. Can we? Apparently not. Oh, hold on. This has to be art. It cannot be artifacts. Okay. Well, we won't be getting that anytime soon in that case. Unless we can trade, but that's incredibly unlikely. We will not be able to get two great works of art from the same civilization and same era. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Alright, this is fine. We got 107 tourism per turn. Second top has 53, that's Sweden. I really do not like how Sweden keeps maintaining the lead. And there's not a whole lot we can do about it. What do you want? You want our gold? Sure. Why not? 21. Acceptable. Alright then. Oh, Jerusalem has an antiquity site. We could try to get that one. And we got the Summer Palace. So that's plus on paper and plus 20% production of diplomatic units. And all diplomatic units receive the nobility promotion. All chanceries gain plus 3 gold and plus 1 culture. It's not a bad wonder. It's just not our focus, but we got it. So, stable. What's next? Temple. Speaking of temples and faith, should we spend our faith for something? We could totally get another holy site in six turns. It might be worth it. Possibly. I mean, look at all these yields. It's such a good tile. I'm thinking it's worth getting one more. So we'll get one more. Let's just wait and we'll buy it manually in the closest city. More railroads. And give me Bratislava. That will make us allied with it. Probably not for very long. But at least we're allied. Temporarily. We can dedicate one city to diplomatic unit production. Possibly. How story? 803. Yeah, that one would be a little bit hard. Jerusalem might be doable. Malacca is about to get conquered. Workshop. And right, more railroads. Also, we should go and build some mines on coal. Who's free? We're about to finish railroad section. Yeah, we'll send one of these guys to improve the coal. Because we kind of have to. I can't actually build anything that requires coal yet. Because we don't have any mines. I'm not selling you open borders, just stop asking. It's never going to happen. Like literally, ever. The only way he'll get open borders with us is if we go to war. That's it. That's the only possible way it's going to happen. Send this guy here. And yep, more railroads. What's going on? Oh yeah, we need to vote. Do we care about any of these? No, I don't want Portuguese sphere of influence in Kuala Lumpur. Open door for Jerusalem. Where's Belgrade again? Nowhere close to us, but we can vote for open door with Jerusalem, maybe. To kick Portugal out of it. Where the heck is Belgrade? Let's see. Right here. Oh, it's inside the fog of war. Nowhere close to us. Let's vote for open door in Jerusalem. Yep, sounds good. Hopefully it will pass. Constabulary into Anako. We could grab agri business. Probably worth it. Yeah, worth it. What about Slater Mill? 
City must be built next to a river, grants a free factory in the city and a large boost to production. Also grants two free coal. We could give it a shot, but we need a city with decent production. Like Cusco or Istanbul. Or Machu. Does Machu have a river? Yes, it does. 15 turns. Seems reasonable. Let's give it a shot. 15 turns is fine. Maybe work some engineers. We can reduce it to 14. 13. Yep, nice. That's 173 hammers. Good enough. These assignments look reasonable. Carry on then. And agribusiness in Tiwanaku. Works for me. We could also rush the wonder if we want to. That will cost us 2250. Yeah, let's do it. We'll save three turns. We have a lot of gold right now. Then again, we will spend a lot of it for promotions in the future. We still need more musicians' guilds. Also, Neuschweinstein is coming in a reasonable future. <laughs> Still a lot of city growth, and we can actually propose something. What do we want to propose? City-state sanctions, right. I don't really care about repeating that one. Let's have a look. How about Ward's Fair? Yeah, sounds good to me. We could maybe even get gold. We could definitely get gold. Alright, let's go for that one. Sweden will probably compete for the gold, but there's a good chance we'll be able to get it. We'll see. There's the temple. Agribusiness. Maybe chancery, since we got a bonus to chanceries. Plus free gold, plus on culture from the summer palace. Probably worth building them. Istanbul can grab a musician's guild. Yup. Sounds good. Carry on. And more railroads. This one is already done. Also, let's go improve more coal. We can always sell some of it. Yep, a mine. I'm sure I want to replace it. Oh yeah, industrialization will give us plus one production for mines. That will definitely be useful. This style is out of range, so artifact. That was a Roman artifact. Not that it really matters. Okay, 116 tourism now. Oh great, Sweden beat us to the Slater mill. Alright, that was a bit of a waste of gold. But oh well, I tried. We probably could have used the engineer for it. But we can always use him for something else. There are still quite a few useful wonders coming up. We'll grab agribusiness. In that case. And keep working on the railroad. What's going on? Only two options in here. Minus 500 gold. All windmills gain plus three production, we obviously want that. 500 gold is nothing, it's two turns worth of income. Might as well be free at this point. Does Gandhi still have that defensive pact? Right, so that was a crash to desktop, not very good. We'll grab the production from windmills again. And right, that was what? Musicians Guild. More railroads. A lumber mill, and that's that. Hopefully it won't crash again. Let's find out. Industrialization is almost done. It will be done just in time for the World's Fair. We need to maximize our production for that, if we want to have a chance to get gold. Hopefully Sweden will also be busy doing other things. 
because obviously if Sweden switches every single city they have towards fair, we will not get the gold. But we'll try. So Chancery, what's going to be next? We don't really need anything in particular in here. We can grab a unit. Yeah, actually, let's grab a unit or two. How about... A cannon? That's only three turns. Then again, we have like four cannons in this area. Hold on. Something else, maybe. Some melee units won't hurt. That will be a landmark, because that's in range of the city. Nice, just make sure we'll be working it. Sweden and India are now friends. I don't like that. Do we want to give Sweden gold? We will get a major diplomatic boss if we agree. Alright, fine. I don't think we can sell it to anyone. Yep, Sweden and India have the creation of friendship now. That's really annoying. We might just have to stay friendly with Gandhi. The horror. <laughs> yep. I think we'll just go after Portugal instead. Oh well, that's still fine. New policy. That's going to be scientific revolution. Yep. And new research. Electricity. To reveal aluminum on the map. Hopefully we'll have some. We will enter modern era, but that's perfectly fine. What's the wonder? Oh yeah, Empire State Building. That's not a bad one. A free great person of your choice. Specialists in all cities produce plus one gold. Not entirely convinced it's worth using a great engineer for that one. But we can always consider it. Oh yeah, observatories will actually be quite nice for some of our cities. That's only one turn. Observatory, chancery, and then bank. Oh, and we still need a temple in our capital, apparently. Okay then. So, observatory. Might as well just build it everywhere. More railroads. And Bangalore finished a circus. What else can we build in here? Forge? Maybe an armory. In case we want to recruit some units in this general area. And since we won't be declaring war on Gandhi, we might as well grab these units and move them towards Portugal instead. Because I would still like to declare war on Portugal. That will be our new target. I might wait for some unit upgrades first. We'll see about that. In fact, we could switch from electricity to rifling if we want to. It's only four turns. Let's switch to rifling. Especially if we want to declare war soon. Grab the coal. How many turns do we need? Only a few more. Then we'll start some train stations. I think we can complete a few before Ward's Fair starts. We got 12 turns to prepare, 11 now. Okay then. One more turn, right? Two more turns. I think this one will complete first. Okay then. There's the Musician's Guild. And what's next? Observatory, I suppose. And the other Musician's Guild. Here you go. And Observatory. That's a no-brainer in that city. And we are also about to finish Neuschweinstein. Nice. Unless someone steals it on the last turn, but that's unlikely to happen. Not impossible, mind you. But fairly unlikely. Right, if we declare war on Portugal, we'll probably go for Evora first. Because that city is getting on my nerves. 
I don't want it there. Let's go, everyone. There's some action coming. I know you've been bored for a while. That's good enough. Give me the wonder, thanks. Sweden has a monopoly on iron, that's 25%. Good for them. Gandhi wants to trade some luxuries. We might as well accept. Yeah, sure. Seeing how we won't be declaring war on him, there's no reason not to accept this. Yep. Give me the wonder, go. There it is. Plus on gold, culture and happiness from every castle. Very nice. And more railroads. So, let's grab all of these guys and move them north. And we'll keep a few around Tiwanaku. Yep. We could probably get even more from the west. It's not like we need all of them here. We don't. We definitely don't. Might as well put them to good use. And the cannon from Agra. This is fine. Oh, and we lost religion in Bangalore. Just use the Inquisitor. And we'll buy another one right away. And I think we can buy the Prophet now. Or do we need one more turn? Yes, we can buy the Prophet. Let's grab him. I think it's worth it. Yes, it's a lot of faith. But it's going to be such a nice style. Agri business. How's crime in this city? We are losing one happiness from crime. Actually, no. Observatory. Quite a few mountains over there. Are we there yet? Just a few more turns. Finished an armory. Let's grab a unit. We are just at 32 out of 50. We can still get a lot more units. And we might as well do that. Can we grab a few from over here? Let's get at least the cannon. It's not like it has anything better to do. More population. And we are about to finish rifling. This will unlock the field gun and the fusilier. We can definitely use both. And Rome declared war on the Ottomans. Alright. Let's them fight each other, I don't mind at all. Yeah, they actually have a border now. They didn't previously. How's their tech count anyway? I can't even see with this tooltip. The Ottomans have 42 techs and Rome has 43. And we have how many? 48. And Sweden has 51. We are catching up to Sweden. We are only 3 techs behind now. We were missing some cheap techs, so this might be slightly misleading. Observatory is done. Maybe Opera House, seeing how we have a Musician's Guild in here. And we also want an Opera House in this city. Alright, looks good. Carry on with the railroad. Are we done with the coal yet? Yes, we are. Now we can actually get started on the train stations. 12 turns. That's not enough time, is it? It is if we pay gold. Alright, let's pay gold in that case. And we'll probably want to do the same with factories. This is where we can spend a lot of gold. If we rush the train stations. If we want to get the gold from World's Fair, then we certainly should. Plus 25%. Yeah, we definitely want both. We don't have to rush them in our capital, we'll get both. Yep. That's fine. Next. 
train station. After the observatory is fine. Machu. Train station and factory. Next up. Train station, I mean factory because railroad is not done yet. And we need to wait for more coal. Alright, that's fine. Anyway, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.